1894, the School of Industrial Physics and Chemistry, Paris, France. An impoverished young Polish physics student named Maria Sklodowska meets a young professor named Pierre Curie. Pierre believes he has met a woman of genius. A year later, Marie marries Pierre, and with his support, she begins the unprecedented work of measuring the energetic rays of minerals. Using a modified quadrant electrometer designed by Pierre, Marie spends day after tedious day painstakingly moving tiny weights and recording times to find the precise measurement of each mineral's electric charge. Her granddaughter would later say that it was impossible to accurately replicate Marie's work. No one at the Curie Institute has the sleight of hand or the concentration to do it. In fact, I know of no one alive who has that skill. The result of her work? The discovery of something she called radioactivity. The 1903 Nobel Committee nominates Pierre and Henri Bicquerel, their male collaborator, but not Marie. Marie's husband, who first recognized her as a woman of genius, writes to the committee to tell them he will not accept the prize if this genius, regardless of her gender, is not included. The Nobel Committee awards her the shared prize. Eight years later, she wins a second Nobel for the discovery of two new elements, polonium and radium, changing the makeup of the periodic table. It will be 24 years before another woman wins the award, Marie's own daughter. One of Marie's peers proclaims, Pierre Curie's greatest discovery was Maria Sklodowska. Her greatest discovery was radioactivity. Professor Marie Curie's work opens a door that no one knew existed, a door into the infinite space of atomic science.